to the lot of others or strikes out against injustice. He's sinful for a tiny ripple of hope and crossing each other from a million different centers of energy and daring those ripples to build a current which can sweep down the mightiest walls of oppression and resistance. Robert F. Kennedy. I want to encourage you. You hear of any peaceful demonstrations that are going on? Notify me. Let me know. Amen? Because we want to be a part of that. Amen? Again, peaceful demonstrations. Because it's time for his people to step out and speak out. Amen? We're good, we're great. We're, this is how I know God is moving. I had a meeting earlier this week. One, uh, uh, one of the brothers, white evangelists that I met with, this was Chick-fil-A, was just moved to tears, weeping. Weeping for the body of Christ. Weeping. This is, and I'm, I'm quoting him in his own words. He's a Caucasian brother. He says, I'm weeping for my white brothers and sisters that just don't get it. He didn't say they all didn't get it. He said, but for the ones that I talk to that I know that don't get it. They don't understand that black folk ain't making stuff up in their heads. Because he says, I meet a lot of them that think that this is all in your minds. He began to apologize to me for how whites have treated us. He didn't have to do that. But he was so moved. I'm telling you, God is moving on people's hearts all throughout this nation. Yeah. And if I, guess what, if I didn't have a pure heart, I couldn't receive his apology. Yeah. That's true. I was at the Chick-fil-A when the, when one of the other workers came there and heard him. He was like, no, you don't have to apologize. You don't have to apologize. And I said, no, receive the man's apology. Because mm-hmm. mm-hmm. then we can start partaking with one another and pray to see how we can make a change in this nation. Yeah. Are y'all with me? Yeah. And it's people like that all across the nation that are not bound by race, but are bound by grace. Yeah. And they want to see a change. Amen? Amen. Ella Willow Wilcox says, the sin, well, that I read, as my suffering, let's read Martin Luther King Jr. first. As I mounted, as my suffering mounted, I soon realized that there were two ways in which I could respond to my situation. Either to react with bitterness or to seek to transform the suffering into a creative force. I decided to follow the latter course. How many of you choose this day whom you're going to serve? Yeah. Yeah. Choose this day whom you're going to serve. And you can make a choice. You can, choice to be, you can make a choice to be bitter and angry for that day. Or you can choose to say, you know what, I'm going to use this creativity in my mind to make a change. How many of you have, to have that exchange and that talk with race and not get angry? And, and, and I, I are with me. Yeah. I felt good that that brother felt like he could come to me and talk about it. Yeah. See, it's something I had to be given off for him to feel that way. Yeah. And that we can engage, and we can engage others and bring them into that. Yeah. Ella Willow Wilcox said, to sin by silence when they should process makes cowards of men. It's not for us to just complain, but you know, when, it, when, it, when, when, the, when the protest, the, the peaceful protest come and it's raining outside, where you going to be? Amen. Praise God. Somebody said outside. That's good. <laughs> I just heard one. We got to put more than complaining. When that, when that, when that thing went, 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 went down with Trayvon, I took several brothers. We went down there right to the courthouse and protested in the rain and said, you know what? We're not going to take this. Are y'all with me? You got to be willing. If it means missing a day at work, if it really matters to you that much, put your money where your mouth is. Or just be quiet. Are y'all with me? Put feet to what you're saying. Amen? Cornel West says, never forget, love Cornel West, never forget that justice is what love looks like in public. Justice is what love looks like in public. Let me say it again. Justice is what love, I tell you, it's, it's a love problem. How can I see, how can I, forget what race is, how can I see you, see you beat down my brother and not grieve on the inside? How can I see that young 12-year-old boy who's playing with a toy gun, officer pulls up and within two seconds, shoots them down and not think about my 12-year-old daughter or my 50-year-old son. It's a love problem. It's a love problem. Are y'all with me? Yeah. Martin Luther King Jr. says there are, this is one of my favorites, the arc of moral of the universe is long. 
So don't be moved by what you see right now because, you know, the arc of, of the moral universe is long, but it always bends towards justice. Yes. Always bends towards justice. Are y'all with me? Yes. Yes. Benjamin Franklin even said, justice will not be served until those who are unaffected are as outraged as those who are. These are wise men that that some have lived and are still living. Frederick Douglass, where justice is denied, where poverty is enforced, where ignorance prevails, and where any one class is made to feel that society is an organized conspiracy to oppress, rob, and degrade them. Neither persons nor property will be safe. Frederick Douglass. See, it's about something that we all got to face. Amen? I want to give you, my time is about up, and I want to give you seven steps to deliverance. The first one is honesty. The second one is humility. The third one is repentance and turning from the sin. The fourth one is renunciation and forsaken evil. The fifth one is forgiveness. The sixth one is prayer to God, communication to God. And the seventh one is warfare against the devil. Honesty. One, two, humility. Three, repentance. Fourthly, renunciation. Fifthly, forgiveness. Sixthly, prayer to God. And seventhly, warfare against the devil. Honesty. Number one, one must be honest with himself and with God. And if he expects to receive God's blessing or deliverance, the lack of honesty keeps errors of one's life in darkness. See, I look at the, when I look at the video of, of Mike Brown, I'm grieved. But I'm grieved by several things. I'm grieved that this guy died because he stole some cigars. And now I'm grieved the fact that he stole some cigars. See, when you start standing for truth, you got to look at truth in the whole context. Both equally grieve me. Do do you hear me, church? You got to deal with truth. Did he deserve to die for some cigars? No. He, did, he deserves to be treated like any juvenile. It's messed up. But you know, in some countries, what they do if you steal, they cut your arm off. You know, they don't have stealing bombs over there. You know what I'm talking about. Parts of Africa, they cut you. Middle East, cut it right off. Public. See somebody walking with an arm, oh, he was a thief. <laughs> Watch your bag. Got that one arm. Just, Talking about quick deliverance. You go, I'm saved now. You'd be surprised. So you got to You got to be honest about the situation. Demon spirits thrive on such darkness, like dishonesty. Honesty helps bring demons into the light. Are y'all with me? See, you know, when you try to talk about white folk and they talk to white people or white persons and you're not dealing with the dishonesty that this man stole something. And he was rough with them. He was rough with the guy. I thought, oh he pushed the guy all over. And I know they released it to, to try to destroy him. I understand that. But I'm just saying, we got to bring our kids under order. And I'm telling you, working in the school system, you see a lack of respect of order. Not just in our kids, but in all kids right now. But it used to be a dividing line. We had to fear God. Yeah. Yeah. Don't see it now. Everybody just lawlessness. We got to establish that back in the generation. Any sin not confessed or repentant gives the demon a legal right to remain. See, you know, we can get these laws changed, and if we don't deal with to be honest with our situation, guess what? We'll be worse off. Oh, we'll get some body cameras, then we'd be really, we'd really be messed up. Be like, he deserved to be shot. He got silent in here, amen? Because mm-hmm. these are some things I'm going to recommend. I'm just going to do the first point, and I'll be hitting the next for the, the rest of a couple of days. But I really believe this is a good place to start, is being honest. Ask God to help you see yourself as he sees you and bring to light anything that is not of him. You got to be able to say, I acknowledge my sin unto thee, and my iniquity have I not hid. I said, I will confess my transgressions unto the Lord, and thou forgavest the iniquity of my sin. Psalms 32 and 5. Psalms 139, 23 and 24 says, Search me, O God, and know my heart. Try me and know my thoughts, 
and see if there be any wicked way in me and lead me in the way everlasting. See, it bothers me. Yeah, the guy that say he wasn't doing it that day, you know, that one about where they would choke the guy, that bothered Mr. Gardner, that bothers me even more because even though he may have had a history of doing some things in the past, but he had just broken up a fight on that street trying to keep the peace, and then they put an illegal chokehold on him. Illegal, something that's been banned by the department since 1993 because of a guy named, um, I believe, Diaz that had died back in 93. Are you with me? And so these things are going to be, as, 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 he's, as, as, as the federal government looks at this, truth is going to come forth. I'm believing God for truth to come forth. As the federal government looks at Missouri, truth is going to come forth. But do you understand this is what happened? This is the process that we had to go through with the South with segregation. We're back in the same process. And so God right now is saying, now, people of God, are you going to stay in character through the process? Mm -hmm. Amen. I don't know about you, but I choose to stay in character. I choose not to hate, but I choose to love. I choose to walk in deliverance because I'm looking at the next generation. Are y'all with me? And I see change and I see a 